What's up everybody, Dante here. Now this is my review of the Sony WH-1000XM5s. Now if I'm a little sweaty, I, I turned the air conditioner and the fan off so I don't interfere with the audio here. But these are the sequel to the XM4s. Now for me, those were the best headphones because of the sound. Now, some people may differ saying like they like the Bose, they like uh, Audio-Technica. Each is up. But these are the sequel to the XM Force. Now, let's go and take a look at the design of it and see how it differs from, you know, the previous generation. Now these are interesting. Like the head brim is a lot smaller. And now it has vegan leather. You know, that's kind of cool because you know, I've been doing my little vegan thing here, so I guess I'm doing the right thing by getting something with vegan leather. All right. Now the air cups are a little bulkier as far as like outer, in my opinion. And the button layout is pretty simple. There's just a power button and uh, the uh, transparency button, that's it. Now there's more microphones around these headphones. You got about a good head, amount of headphones to help out with the noise cancellation. Now the previous generation's head brim was a little wider. You know, head cups were a little smaller, but they still have this mesh fabric, whatever stuff this plastic is. It's very fingerprinty magnet, you want to call it. If you got grease on your fingers, you touch these, they on these joints. So I guess if you want to put gloves on, <laughs> you put these things on, you can. But yes, these things are fingerprint magnets, oil and grease, all that stuff. So now they have another sensor inside. You don't see the big bulky plastic, a little outcut here in these headphones that you did from the previous generation. So I guess it's not an eyesore if you look at it that way, because some people may have a problem with that. But they work just as fine, work just the same, and you still can switch between two devices at one time. Now, the interesting thing is the case that it comes with. Now, this is the case. It looks like a little miniature book bag, like if you got a little child that no one to carry a little book bag, that's what it looks like. The interesting thing is that if you have, if anybody who has the Bose 700s, right, they have this magnetic little flap here, so you can hide your little, you know, 3.5, headphone jack and your little charge cable. Sony, I don't understand, Sony has always been this company that gives the shortest cables when it comes to charging cables. So, still applies here, but it's magnetic, flip it, and there you have it. But the issue is, they don't fold up. Like, so the case is a little bit bigger than the previous generation. May be a deal breaker for some, may not be. But, have to take that into account when you go to travel and you wanna pair of noise canceling headphones, which ones you want to take? The bigger case or the smaller case? That's pretty much what it boils down to. Now I want to switch over to somewhat of the software features that comes with this. Now, if you have the previous generation, it has the app that comes with, you know, the Sony headphones. So you can kind of customize it to the sound that you like. Now, I do want to start off with this that I have come across some issues when it comes to connection problems with these headphones. One of the issues I came across with these headphones is that I've been listening to music, jamming out, doing my thing. Headphones cut off, right? Now I thought it may have been a Bluetooth connection issue. It wasn't that. The phone, the headphones basically just turned off. So I turned them back on, they boot back up, no problem. And I've also had an issue where I'm listening to music and the Bluetooth acts up and it just stopped connecting to the device. So don't know if that's a software issue or a hardware issue when it comes to these now maybe a software update comes up may fix this but yes I have had those problems with these headphones here's the thing that's going to really trip some people out for me right the sound of these headphones are good I will say this when I was listening to a uh, video on the iPad right what I like about these headphones I've noticed this with these and I'm gonna probably go back and check them out with the XM4s is that when you listen to something with a crazy bass line, right? And you turn the volume up to a, like 100% capacity and usually the, the bass would drown out the sound. These don't do that. What they do is they balance it out. So if you turn the volume up to 100%, right? What it does is it'll lower the bass line so it can still f sound like a complete um, line of bass where it doesn't seem like it's overpowering the background noises, the sound effects, anything you're watching. So I thought that was pretty cool because you know some headphones the bass line gets out of control where it kind of overpowers the his, the mids and the lows. Now with these, and I thought that was really cool where I was watching a little video on YouTube and the bass line when I turned it all the way up, it didn't drown out the uh, video. What it did was it leveled it out so it still was a complete level bass 
where you could still hear the bass line and it didn't feel like it was um, overpowering or um, it distorted at the same time. So I thought that was pretty cool with these headphones. Now, like I said, I'm gonna go check this out with the previous generation and see if they did the same thing. But I thought that was pretty cool. I noticed that when I was listening to it, I was like, hold up, I turned it all the way up and the bass line kind of leveled out. I said, these are pretty cool. So then when you lower it, the bass comes back. Oh, like it's still overpowered. I wouldn't say overpowered. What it does is the levels go back up where the bass line is very punchy. But when you turn the volume up to 100%, it levels out. And I thought these are cool when it comes to that, where some people may have a problem with over bassy music or uh, movies or videos that they're watching. These level out really well when it comes to that. Now, having said all that, let me say this. I like the sound of XM4s better than this because the bass in the XM4 is much more punchy. Now, these have a punchier bass, but it's much more balanced, in my opinion. Not a bad thing. Just for me, I know I like that punchier bass sound. But that's not a deal breaker for these. It's more of the price point. I wouldn't call it a deal breaker, but it's more of a, you have another option out there. Now with these, these run at 399, right? The XM4s, depending on where you find them at, I found them at a price point at 298 one point in time, but they gonna run those at 350, so $50 cheaper. And like I said, I like the sound of those better than these. So if you don't have the XM4s, the XM3s, or these, it's kind of hard for me to recommend these because I like the XM4s better. They both switch between two devices. Yeah, you have a better noise cancellation when it comes to these because of the more microphones. Now, depending on the surroundings that you are, like I go to a lot of parties with kids. You know, I, all my friends, we all got kids. So we have birthday parties, get togethers, a lot of kids be there. I wear those like these out there because I don't want to hear no kids. Like if I'm out in public, I just want to kind of chill, sit back, listen to some music and watch my kids, make sure everything's fine, but tune everybody else out. That's why I take these to parties. But going on an airplane, same thing. If you want to tune out everything around you, great for these as far as the XM4s. It boils down to how much you want to spend. Like I said, these are 399. Switch between two devices, more microphones for better noise cancellations. The XM4s will be 350. Great noise cancellations, less mics, but if that's a thing for you, okay. Now, I did not make any phone calls with these because I just didn't feel like doing that. Because I don't know how many people actually do that with those type of headphones. I know me, I use earplugs because I move around and I don't kind of want big bulky headphones on while I'm talking. But if you have, you know, conference calls, Skypes, Zooms, and all those type of things going on, maybe you like these type of headphones for that. There's an option for that. But for me, I just never made any phone calls with these because I just, I just didn't feel like testing, to be honest, but I just didn't want to test that out because I don't like having big bulky headphones on when I make phone calls. What does it boil down to, right? Here's my conclusion. I like these. Don't love them. I love the XM4s because of the sound signature with those compared to these. But there are some pluses that I like about this sound signature compared to the XM4s. So it's one of those give or take type of situations. Now, the design kind of similar to the Bose 700s with the thinner brim and like kind of like that little thing. Now, I'm I, if you haven't seen that review, I actually like the design of the Bose 700. I just, I thought it was a cool look. These kind of are, you know, similar to that. Now, I will mention this. Now, I have a fat neck, right? You know, some people like to turn their headphones down, lay them on their chest. Not with these. They do that. And you see, like, and, that, and this is the, uh, um, expansion of both of them and you can see how still tight it is around my neck so this is what they look like if you wanted to flip them down but you can't you gotta flip them up so you know you could call that design flaw if you want but something you gotta think about when it comes to if you just want to have these joints just laying you can't lay them down on your chest you gotta have them up unless you're gonna really flip them around to do that you know, I to each his own, but some people may do that. But overall, I must say, for $399, great set of headphones. But if you had the XM4s, you don't need these. And I would recommend people get the XM4s because cheaper. And, you know, like I said, I like the sound of those a little bit more than these. But overall, 
Not bad headphones, just save you money. Get the previous generation. But that's it for this my review of the uh, Sony WH-1000XM5s. Need to shorten that name. But tell me what you think in the comment section. Anybody who actually purchased these, let me know how you think, how you feel about them. And hit that like and subscribe button. And stay tuned for more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.